Hi, August. Grandma Teresa. I thought I'd read a book or two. I hope you are having a great day. Here we go. Bear and the Whisper of the Wind. What's that blowing around? Bear and the Whisper of the Wind by Marianne Dubac. Bear lived in a house. Bear lived in a nice house. Bear spent the afternoon with good friends. Bear sat in his favorite chair and he loved the smell of freshly baked strawberry pie. Bear lived a sweet life. But that was before. One day, the wind changes and Bear senses that it is time to go. He still likes to sit in his favorite chair, but it isn't as cozy as it used to be. And he still loves the smell of strawberry pie, but it doesn't taste as good as it used to. With the rustle of leaves in the trees, the wind gently whispers, it's time for something new. So Bear packs his most treasured possessions into his blue blanket and creates a bundle. He leaves the door open as he sets off. Maybe someone will make this their home, Bear thinks. Bear doesn't know where to go, but he only knows he needs to go there. Sometimes Bear feels very lonely. And sometimes he feels as free as a wind. One day, Bear comes to a clearing. It's in the center. Oops, I'll start again. One day, Bear comes to a clearing. In its center is a cozy little house. It's been so long since he's spoken to someone, Bear has almost forgotten how. Before Bear can make up his mind, Rabbit peeks out from a window. It's going to be dark soon, he says, inviting Bear inside. Once Bear enters the cozy little house, it feels good. He feels good, better than he's felt in days. There's a house with the rabbit and the bear. Bear gives his new friend a helping hand. There's been a strong wind and an old poplar tree has fallen on the roof, Rabbit explains. I have been lucky. I could have lost my home. Bear understands. To lose something or someone that you love is very sad. Would you like a piece of strawberry pie? Rabbit asks. Bear looks to the forest. Oh, no, thank you. I don't think I like strawberry pie anymore. Once again, he feels the whisper of the wind telling him that it is time to go. And so Bear continues his journey. In his bundle, he has added a tiny teacup, a gift from Rabbit. Can you find the bear? Good job. 
After walking for a few hours, Bear is not sure of anything anymore. He felt happy with Rabbit and wonders why he couldn't stay in the cozy little house in the clearing. A frog hops beside him to answer. Rabbit, it was not the end of your journey, Rabbit. But Bear begins to worry and he thinks, Maybe I should have... I shouldn't have left my home. What if I've made a terrible mistake? Now he wants to go back. Bear cannot find his way home. I am lost. Pluck, pluck. Oh no, it's raining. I need to find shelter. Bear frets as he hurries down the path. He finds shelter under a big pine tree. My bundle is full of water and my boots are like bathtubs, Bear moans. Ba-boom! Bam! Bam! Boom! I must not move. I must hide under the pine tree. <sighs> Looks foggy. I don't see bear anywhere. Do you? Hello! Are you staying here for a long time? A funny little mouse is standing over him. My name is Mouse. Are you new in the valley? Uh, I was hiding from the storm, Bear stammers. Mouse smiles. The rain, but it's over. Bear discovers a little valley. He loves the smell of the wet grass and how warm the sun feels. There is a stream. There is blue, a blueberry patch and his new friend Mouse. And though Bear can hear the rustling of the leaves in the trees, the wind is quiet again. Would you like a piece of blueberry pie? Says Mouse. Bear lives in a new house in his new favorite spot in the valley and his search has ended. The end.